Tonight, artists from all over will gather in Glen Arbor to paint the beautiful views for the 7th Annual Paint Out. 7 to 4's Alyssa Heron joins us live from Leelanau County to tell us how we can get in on this scenery. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Brandon and Melissa. With us now is Linda Young. She's the chairperson for the 7th Annual Glen Arbor Plein Air Paint Out. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for coming to Glen Arbor. Absolutely. Now, this is a big event kicking off this week. Um, first of all, I just want you to share some of the history, or if people have never been out to a paint out, what should they expect? Okay, well, you're going to see a lot of artists. We have over 75 artists painting all around the area in different locations. Artists have long been fascinated with painting out of doors, and so a paint out brings artists together. They paint outside for the day and then quickly frame and put their works together for the finale at the end of the day. All right, and what a beautiful area we are in for artists to do that. And this morning, we actually have one of the registered artists, David Westerfield from Chicago, who's already out here painting with us. I want you to tell me about some of the events that will be kicking off starting tonight. Okay, well, tonight we start with a sundowner, and at 7 o'clock, artists will come and register, and they'll paint the sunset. And it also happens to be a full moon, so who knows how they can, yeah. late they can paint in the night. Tomorrow's event begins at 2.30 in the afternoon with Paint the Town. So artists will fan out around Glen Arbor and paint the various town scenes. And they must paint their painting in two hours, which is why we call it a quick, sale, quick, quick draw. And then they'll come back for what we call the quick sale, which is at the Township Hall from 5 to 6. And that's open to the public. And that's open to the public, and it's free, and it's a great family event. Um, and then the main event is on Saturday, and the artists begin their day, um, as they do with all the events, getting their canvases or their papers date stamped. They come with a blank canvas, and then they spend the day painting in this beautiful area. And that culminates with a large reception and wine and cheese event at the Glen Arbor Artist Association from 5.30 to 7.30. Okay, and can artists still sign up for this? I know you said it sold out pretty quick. Yeah, artists can sign up for the Sundowner, and they could just need to show up at 7 o'clock at the Glen Arbor Art Association uh, in Glen Arbor across from Cherry Republic. And then the Quick Draw on Saturday afternoon is open to artists still. We have 75 artists uh, already signed up for this uh, Friday event. Saturday is uh, a closed registration and that filled in four hours in March. Wow. All right. Well, thank you so much. And you're going to have to come out to Glen Arbor this weekend and check out all of these amazing artists coming up. In the next half hour, we'll be talking with David himself about some of the hardest challenges of painting out in plein air. Plus, we're here live in Glen Arbor for the seventh annual plein air paint out. Coming up next, we're going to speak with an artist on why painting outdoors is so special to him. You're watching 7 and 4 News Today. Good morning, Alyssa. Good morning, Brennan and Melissa. With us again is Linda Young, chairperson for the 7th Annual Glen Arbor Paint Out. Uh, tell me about this event. When does it kick off tonight? It does kick off tonight. The uh, Glen Arbor Art Association has planned a th fabulous three-day weekend of artists coming to this area. Painting beginning tonight at 7 o'clock. They'll be painting sunsets along Lake Michigan and Glen Lake, where we are right now. And then on Friday, they'll be painting the town in Glen Arbor from 2.30 to uh, 4.30. They'll come back, and we can see their artwork at the Township Hall from 5 to 6 o'clock. So that's an exciting afternoon to watch artists complete a painting in two hours, and that's why it's called a quick draw. And then on Saturday is the big event, and this is our seventh annual. We're one of the largest in the state. State. Um, artists will be coming and painting the day in the area and then from 5.30 to 7.30 we'll be having the reception and the sale and an opportunity to see these wonderful paintings that reflect this beautiful area. Absolutely and these will actually be for sale to the public so if they're walking around town and see one they like. Then yeah. if they're walking around town see one they like they can come to the township hall. We call it a quick sale because if you like it you buy it and uh, you have a painting right away that you can take home. And then on Saturday night, we actually begin the evening with the sound of an antique foghorn, which says, let the sale begin. 
Okay, and tell me um, uh, if artists can still register for this event. Artists can still register for the Sundowner, which is tonight. They can just come to the Glen Arbor Art Association off Lake Street in Glen Arbor. On Saturday, or on Friday, they can come to the Township Hall and register between 1.30 and 2.30 in the afternoon. Okay, well, thank you very much. I'm going to make our way over here to David Westerfield. He's an artist from Chicago that made his way here uh, this morning for us. Thank you so much for joining us. We have a beautiful painting going on right now. It's, it's happening. I heard this is your specialty is trees. I, I love to get out in uh, nature, you know, and paint what's really there and uh, versus being stuck in a studio and uh, the light and the uh, air and the location, it can't be beat. And so what would you say are some of the challenges when you come and you paint outside versus in the studio? Well, the light is always changing quick. You know, if, if it's cloudy and you got sunlight and shadows one minute and they're gone the next. And I've been out on some really windy conditions where uh, I've lost my easel in the wind because it, it's, it's a, a heavy, windy day. But, you know, it, it's a cold, everything outdoors. You have to work fast and get your get your project going as fast as you can. So. Absolutely. Well, best of luck throughout the week. I heard you've been traveling around the states doing these plein air paint outs. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. All of this information and more will be on our website at upnorthlive.com. Reporting live in Glen Arbor, Alyssa Heron, 7 and 4 News. Wow, that, you don't get a view like that just anywhere. Mm -hmm. You go out to Leelanau County, right on Glen Lake, gorgeous. And his painting looked literally just like the tree that was in front of him. Did you see that? How it was beautiful. It was beautiful. And what's nice, uh, like Alyssa was saying, you can go out there and actually watch these artists create these masterpieces, mm -hmm. which is the fun part about it. Maybe we can get some ideas. I know. I'll need all the ideas I can get because I am not <laughs> creative like that. We're so. good with stick figures. There right? you go. Right. Well, turning